afternoon ladies and gents and you join me in Whitechapel, Jack the Ripper territory and we're going to be taking a little stroll down <coughs> one of London's or East London's little historic higgledy piggledy alleyways which has a good bit of history to it and leads to a good bit of history. This is the historic White Tart pub which was established in 1721 and we're going to go down Gunthorpe Street And I must say, even if I do so to myself, it absolutely reeks the shit down here. There we are. <laughs> this is the back of the historic White Hart pub. And they've got a bit of history here. Jack the Ripper. Who was Jack the Ripper? There have been numerous attempts to uncover the identity of the man who brutally murdered five East End women between August the 31st and the 30th of November 1888. Amongst those suspected were Queen Victoria's heir, the Duke of Clarence. A less prominent suspect was George Chapman, a barber, a surgeon who at the time lived in the cellar of this pub. He was later found guilty of poisoning his three wives for which he was hung. Was he also Jack the Ripper? So that's interesting, isn't it? And there we see the back of the White Hart pub. And this is one of London's little... Apparently it's quite dodgy at night time, and it, and it does look as though it could be. And there we see the spire of a church. So, onward Christian soldiers, as they say. 1886. Housing now, of course. These are just little walks and stuff I'm going to be starting to do. Basically virtual tours for you guys and girls. So you've had a bit of Jack the Ripper. And uh, we're going to walk down one of the old historic East End streets. And it's always had a dodgy reputation, this one. Even excluding the Jack the Ripper murders and such. Several people have had their throats cut down this one. So yeah, nice place, eh? And it's all hidden in amongst all these new, great big shiny buildings. Which I, I don't know where I stand with the new shiny buildings. And this is Cannon Barnet Primary School, this one. Aged three to 11 year olds. So one good thing with the Sunday is that you can generally film the schools because you can't do that during the week, obviously. Not unless you want to uh, earn yourself a reputation as something unpleasant. But there we are. So yeah. Ooh, more, I don't know if that's vomit or what on the floor. It doesn't look very nice though, I'll say that for it. This is obviously more modern, this end. But leads through and back and everything. It's, uh, yeah, as I said, I wouldn't want to walk down this one at night time myself. I should imagine it could be pretty dodgy. And we are now on Wentworth Street. Which of course 
course will take us all on to hospital fields and that area. Right. Let's cross over. I'm just checking to see if you can get to that church from here, which I'm hoping you can. I did spot a church spire when I was on the bus going past the Burger King place where, where we've just come from, near the, the White Heart, going past the White Heart. And I thought, hmm, church spire. See a church spire? I'm like a bee around a honey pot. I don't know if you can get to it through here. No, I don't think you can. Right. Well, I'll finish this one because it's looking a bit dodgy here, so I don't want to see walking around with a phone. Uh, if I do find the church, maybe we'll see that, maybe we won't. Take care all. See you all soon, possibly. I found the church. You know me, I never give up. This is its churchyard. Cross and gravestones. We are in Spitalfields. I think we are anyway. I'm a tad bit lost, if I'm honest. But there we are. We'll find my way back, I'm quite sure. Perry. Some of them are quite worn away. But yeah, this is the church. I don't think the church... Well, I'm not sure if the church is open, actually. <coughs> I'll go and check that out. Hopefully it is. We'll see. Oh, nearly fell over. At least I found the church anyway. Even if it's not open, I can go and check its opening times and we'll see. I think it might be open. People are going in there. So if it is, join me for an impromptu tour of this church. And I, brutally honest with you, I haven't told you it's known because I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys and girls. I'm in a completely unfamiliar area. So we did uh, find our way to the church eventually by going lots of different ways. I've got a thing on my mat, on my phone, where you press the button and, and with a red line it will show me exactly what way to go back. So, join me all inside, hopefully. Take care all, see you soon.